What makes a kicker kick? To start, an amplifier must turn your music into alternating current electricity. Once connected to a speaker, the alternating current electricity makes the speaker cone move in and out, creating the sound pressure waves that travel through the air to your ears. We perceive these waves as music. This concept was developed in 1876 when Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone. Speakers today still use this concept. The motion of the moving parts of a speaker is made possible due to the attraction and repulsion of an electromagnet to a permanent magnet. The electromagnet is only a magnet when electricity is run through a coil of wire, which we call the voice coil. What makes an electromagnet special is that its polarity can be positive or negative depending on the electrical charge running through it. When the electricity running through the voice coil is negative, it is attracted to the permanent magnet, and when the polarity is reversed to positive, the voice coil is pushed away from the permanent magnet. The voice coil's up and down movement will be directly relative to the polarity of the alternating current electricity it receives from your amplifier. The voice coil moving up and down by itself won't make enough sound to be useful, so we must add a cone to move more air. This creates pressure waves that travel through space which vibrate your eardrums, creating perceivable sound. Additional parts are necessary to keep the cone aligned and still let it move in and out. A flexible part called the surround is attached to the top of the cone. Another flexible part aligns the bottom of the cone. This is called the spider. The spider is designed to allow the cone to move in and out without rocking back and forth. A front gasket is added to the cone surround, helping to keep it in place. Further stability is achieved by attaching a separate, in this case, plastic part called the spider landing to the outside edge of the spider. To make the permanent magnet more effective, we add a top plate. The top plate is a steel ring that concentrates this magnetic force into a smaller area. Most of the magnetic force is concentrated in a small gap between the top plate and a cylindrical part called the pole piece, which extends the magnetic field and dissipates heat from the voice coil. The rest of the magnetic force and heat is extended through the pole piece to the back plate, which further extends and concentrates the magnetic field. The shape of this assembly is critical to the performance of the speaker. To transfer the audio to the voice coil, a connection is made through flexible wires called tensile leads. These are attached to a terminal where you connect your speaker wires from your amplifier. These parts are all held together by the basket, which also provides a flange for mounting the speaker. Now you have a better understanding of what it takes to make music. There are all sizes of speakers and many different ways to build them. Kicker strives to make them the best so you will be able to enjoy them for years to come.